Alright guys, 71 equalizer. 71 equalizer. Send me this link, and I'll send you guys the link, and you guys can come check it out. This is just uh, Noah's website here. It's, it's Hurricane Sandy uh, response to imagery viewer, satellite imaging of it. And you guys can come check it out. I'll just zoom in for a minute, kind of show you what you can see. We'll just start right down here and just kind of run up the coast a little bit for you. All of this is going to, all of it will have to be completely rebuilt. I mean, the water came all the way across in this area. I mean, not all areas are this bad, but, I mean, all this will have to get rebuilt. I mean, you got water damage. Every one of these houses will have to be completely redone. Yeah, and, it, you know, guys, you know, just think about it. If this was your house, you, this is what you, yourself, would have to be dealing with at this point. Now, they cut the image here, so that's how it was before the storm, actually. But, anyway, down in here, you can follow the image, the new imagery of it. But um, all of this stuff, guys. I mean, these are, these are people's lives. This is this is things that people you know work their entire life for, and, and it's just gone. And it's it's sad, man. I mean, if you think about it, guys, is it, if this was your place, your house, your 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 life, I mean, it's just incredible. So I'll put the link there. You guys can come check it out. I mean. Like I said, not everybody's like this. I mean, you get down on the other side. Here, let me zoom out a minute. You get down in here, and the damage shouldn't be nearly as bad because the out it was outflow water. Remember, the hurricane came right in through here, and uh, it was swinging like this. So this area up here was getting nailed by the ocean, and this area here was just having water released out back to sea. So. Out. This area here should not be nearly as damaged. And it won't let you get in very far, but it'll let you get in close enough. Yeah, see this area here, this this area here is not, not, not near as bad. And in fact, I can't really see much damage at all. It makes all the difference in the world, guys, if you're on the outflow or inflow when you come in these hurricanes. Remember, the north the north side, the northeast side, that's the side that's uh, devastating on any hurricane. And clearly, that's exactly what happened, because you remember, the eye came right through here, right, right through all of this. Here's New Jersey. I mean, the eye just it literally came right through here, right across through here, and th on through here, and on in. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave the link here. You guys can come check it out. Uh, look at it for yourself. Up here is Ma uh, Manhattan. And down in here is Long... This is all Long Island up in here, where a lot of damage was done in here, too. zoomed in for a minute Most of this is just sand, where well, the water came up over and did its thing. You can see some of the buildings are on a slant and angled instead of being in their row, it's sitting at an angle. I mean, you can you can only imagine, guys, what this would have been like. I mean, if you know, if you're not there, if this isn't your area, this. Here's where the fire broke out. You see that area there now. That wind blowing in at a northeast angle. I mean northwest angle. That's exactly the fire started and went right on through. And again, guys, this, this is people's lives. This is this is everything that they've worked, you know, their entire lifetime for. It's just devastating.
But anyways, you guys can come out here. You can check it out yourself. There's, I'll put the links in here. You, you can go check out all the different coastlines and see exactly what what all happened. What I don't like, the only thing I don't like about what they've done here. Let me just zoom out. Is that you can't zoom in very far. You can't really get in there to see the the, the real true damage on, on any of this. Now here's one of the high spots on the island. And you can see there that here let's just get in here for a second. That very little damage was done in this area. And they got this. Well maybe there was damage. Or I think that's where they started piling stuff up. See the problem is uh Hurricane Sandy kept this area cloudy for almost three solid days so they couldn't I mean you can't see the flooding, you can't see any of that stuff because usually a hurricane comes in and is gone within, you know, 10, 10 11 hours it's out of range and they can get satellite imaging you know this is literally four days after the hurricane this is you know after all the waters receded and everything else because they couldn't there was too many clouds they couldn't get imagery imagery of it but you guys can come on in here and like I said the only thing I don't like about it guys is that you can't zoom in this is as close as it'll let you get I mean you can clearly see that there's damage area they've already cleared a lot of these roads by the time these images were taken uh, and that kind of thing so I mean we didn't we didn't we, we we were not given the opportunity to see the full scale of damage but um nevertheless you could still see that, you know after four four days after the storm they started cleaning up they 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 started picking up and cleaning up uh the mess literally uh within twenty four hours of the storm and so we're looking at three days of cleanup in these images so you can just ima imagine you know how much worse it was before the images were actually taken this is four days after the storm but you can you can see that I mean <laughs> that's a long ways in for sand to get I mean you're, you're you got sand from here all the way up the road all the way into here all the way up here I mean that's quite a long ways for sand to get guys Cause there's the other side and this is very high compared to you know the area but you guys can come in here and take a look at it for yourself. I just want to. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the weather. Try to keep the video halfway decent. But again, the only thing I don't like about it is they didn't give you close-up images. This is as close as you can zoom into it. You know, and with the technology they have, they could have gave us a lot better images than this. They could have let us get down in there and to really see, you know, the damage that was that was truly done in here give us a better perspective of, of, of how people are being affected but anyways guys I'm just gonna you know I'll just give you guys a link down below the video and you guys can come check it out again thank you 71 equalizer for sending me the link and, and I appreciate all the links you guys send me I mean some of them I, I don't make videos of them I know you know but I got you know time issues here so I pick and choose which videos I actually you know when you give me links which ones I actually put out which ones I don't the ones that I feel like are you know need need to get out there those are the ones I put out there so anyways guys you guys can come check it out yourself and again anywhere that is that is highlighted those are areas that they they've uh, updated with new images and you can come over here and, and you know just open up a box and, and do whatever you want to do with with the different uh, options And it's the days. It's, I mean, they got you know all this stuff in here. So just come check it out, guys. Uh, you know, it doesn't start till October 31st. Like I said, uh, a couple days after the storm actually hit. So let's get on to the weather. All right, here's the weather, guys. And first of all, Venice. Venice is not in a very good situation at all, guys. Uh, not at all. Almost, almost half of it's completely underwater. I mean, it's just incredible what's happened over there. Uh, just that storm, it just sat over there, still sitting over there. They're getting, you know, it's cold over there and all these other things. Down here, though, we've got this little disturbance down here that's going to come in and work its way up the coast as a nor'easter uh, coming up the coast just like Sandy did. It won't be, you know, near as powerful or anything of that nature. It's just going to be a regular nor uh nor'easter that they're used to so uh, it'll be coming in in the middle of the week 
and uh, it'll bring the temperatures down and bring in some rain to the northeast so if you guys live in the northeast just be aware that uh, toward the middle of the week you're going to have a system coming up the shoreline towards you guys and over here on the west coast the big huge cyclone uh, basically it, it, it moved up it's right here right here it is and it kind of shifted over as it drew this other one down okay, here's the system and here's the other one that came in and wrapped right around it and it's getting ready to come in on the shore of uh, the west coast of Canada so heads up west coast Canada for winds uh, I don't know if you're going to get any kind of storms out of it but you'd, you'd probably be getting the winds off of it because they're connecting up at this point the two systems are connecting again it didn't didn't really move much it kind of moved a little bit to the east actually a little bit to the northeast but it really didn't move much that big huge cyclone side of it really didn't move that much we can take a look, better look at it though okay here we go let's just as you can see it's headed toward the north okay north is at an angle on this map guys I know it's kinda of hard difficult to see but here you know you know how Alaska rides like this so north is actually about like this in this image the north pole is right up here in other words okay so this is north northeast is this way okay just so to give you an idea of where you're looking okay now watch this storm you know like we said it would it, it either it either sit still or move to the north or northeast kind of trying to get into Alaska Canada area and that this system would wrap you know come in come up and literally be you know wrap around and come in and nail uh, the west coast of Canada and it w nothing would be affected on the on the west coast except maybe the tail of the storm as it hits Canada so you can just watch it play real quick and as we said as it comes on on shore it'll interconnect with this other ma you know the major the major system that took up a huge 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 area but we said it would connect up and that's exactly what's going on and as it comes into the shorelines here so uh, the actual syst this actual system is the heart of it is really right in here even though it looks like the eyes over here you'll see that it looks like there's an eye here it's not really right there it's actually right in here at this point and getting ready to come on shore so get ready for some winds I don't know how much wind let's take a look okay here's what we have right now here's that huge monster system and then this is the system that came in and is you know working its way up to the coastline here again you're looking at an angle see like here's the North Pole guys right here right right in the middle of the North Pole so it, it all depends on how you look at it if you're if you're looking right here north is like this it's at an angle okay it doesn't you can watch these lines guys you can see how they're at an angle same thing up here you can see the angle that's north and northeast is this way so anyways it's sitting right here and we can definitely see that those lines are getting pretty pretty close together that's what I was saying as it swings around the, the large uh, system as it stays stationary and it's clearly still right about in the exact same spot it was right there on that uh, loop of, of Alaska right here uh, as it as it swings in from this high pressure pushing it to the northeast and this low pressure pushing it to the northeast it, it would pick up uh, wind and we can clearly see that there is wind involved in it so as this thing continues to swing in and interconnect and combine with this system right here uh, get ready on the coast of Canada for some winds I don't know how much wind we're talking here I mean we could talk we could be talking 30 mile an hour winds or you know maybe as much as up to to gust up to maybe 60 mile an hour but it, you know I don't think it's gonna be too too horrible or too bad but we'll have to wait and see these these lines are probably gonna get a lot tighter as it continues to move and then uh, eventually they'll interconnect and then they'll split they'll literally split and then one system will fall down into the United States and take up the United States core I mean the core of the United States the center of the United States and the other one will travel on to the North Pole but as this system moves into the coast of Canada you know be alert be aware for high winds that kind of stuff possible power outages from wind damage or whatever uh, again I don't know how strong the winds will be but they will be uh, fairly strong so uh, just over the next couple days uh, just be paying attention if you live on the west coast of Canada so here we are back over here and there's that uh, upper system and this is the other system that's moving into it and again the winds are going to be down in here guys this is this is about where the winds are right now in this system and it's going to be coming up to the to the coast here so again if you live in west Canada just uh, it's not going to be a huge storm. It's not something life-threatening or anything of that nature, guys. You know, 
no matter what people have told you, it's just it's just going to be kind of a little bit of a wind event, maybe some some showers with it. I don't know if there'd be showers or not, but uh, anyways, eventually these two will inter completely interconnect as one, and then they'll split apart, and one of them will drop off into the United States. Okay, back over here on the main map, guys. You can see this is interesting here. Here comes the the hurt the the cyclone. It comes in, falls apart, right? Gets on out of here, but then it, a system right behind it redevelops, and they, they have been getting rain after rain after rain after rain right here where my where, where the arrow is. It just keeps respawning, 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 over and over and over and over again. I mean, they've just been getting slammed, don't. So be praying for them people up there as well. We're not up there, but around there, over on the other side of the planet. So that's your weather update, guys. Also, this system right here pretty much fell apart. Remember, we were talking about we keep an eye on it. it. Should go to the northwest, or if anything, and that's it didn't do anything. It just fell apart. So everybody's safe on that system, and we do have a system coming on shore in Mexico. So just a regular old system, no big deal. At this point, guys, everything's looking good. We got high pressure dominating the United States right now at this point, uh, for the mo for the most part, and uh, we got a nor'easter that'll be coming up to to the northeast. And at this point, California and the United States, you know, is under high pressure. But again, when this thing gets itself completely together, it will eventually split back apart, and a chunk of that will fall down into the United States, bring low pressure to the United States. So, uh, other than that, guys, nothing major. Uh, just other than uh, the Aleutian Island areas, you know, just keep your eye out uh, as this other system over here begins to work its way over your direction. Uh, might get, you know, waves or whatever you got to deal with out in the uh, Barren Sea. So. Other than that, guys, everything's looking pretty decent at this point, except for Europe. Europe's just under a lot of uh, water, weather, rain, cold, every all sorts of things, snow, cold, water. Like I said, Venice over here around Italy is just, about half of it's just completely underwater. It's just, I mean, it's mind-boggling, guys, the, the, these systems and what they're doing. Remember, if you go back to the last video where I show you the, the, side, the scale of this system over here, I, you know, I matched it to this system, and they're exactly the same size. And... They've just they've been under this system for about two you know three or four days now. It's just nonstop as you can see. Comes on board there and it just stays there and stays there and stays there and stays there. It's still there. So be praying for them guys as, uh, as well. Love you guys getting the word, staying the word, and get the word in you. I bring you any more updates that I know of. But by the way, in New Jersey, uh, the Salem power plant, uh, the nuclear power plant, still down. Uh, five out of six pumps. I don't know what all you guys know about it. Five out of the six pumps went down. Uh, they re they were working or uh, you know operating off of emergency power and one pump and uh, they did get one of the one of the other pumps fixed so really they got about two out of six pumps running at this point uh, the, but the power use is just down right now because there's a lot of power outages so uh, it's not really necessarily required but at the same time it's it, you know this th that could have been uh, devastating over there if it, if they if that storm if if the heart of that storm would have moved just a little bit, that power plant probably would not have made it. When that wave came over and clogged up those those pumping systems, it, it, you basically had the same exact situation that was going on in Japan. Pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is it didn't completely, utterly lose its power, and uh, they did have pumps that were still functioning after afterwards. So it's the only difference here. I mean, they, what? I mean, it could have been another Fukushima literally all over again. But right here on the west, east coast of the United States instead of Japan. And then finally, just for the United States only, uh, this is what we're looking at, guys. Just basically got a front line coming in through here. And then you got the system coming on to the coast here in, in, uh, in Canada. And it looks like they're pretty much interconnected at this point. But like I said, they will split back apart. A chunk will come in here to Canada, or literally, it'll just kind of fall right in, right into the United States. A chunk of low pressure, which will be good for the United States, considering that the drought that they're under at this point. Okay, guys, that's about it. I love you guys getting the word, staying the word, and I'll, and I'll talk with you guys soon. Shalom to you all.